Welcome to 5MinuteTutorials.com. In this tutorial, it's being recorded in Adobe Illustrator CS6 and it should work with previous CS versions of Illustrator. I want to uh, talk about some of these uh, secondary set of uh, tools here, primarily the tra uh, Rotate tool, the Scale tool, and some of their sub tools. So, the Rotate tool, you need to do is you need to actually se select an object. So, I'm going to go ahead and start with this blue box here, go to the Rotate tool, and you notice there's this uh, little crosshair right here, that's where it's going to rotate from. So clicking anywhere outside of that will uh, allow you to rotate that tool. I'm going to hit undo there. You can also click anywhere else inside of that object and then you can actually, it's almost like you're pu putting a push pin in there to rotate. You can even pin it outside of the particular shape and now you can see we're actually rotating completely outside of that shape. So I'm going to click undo on several of these here and return back to our original position. There are some more precise ways to rotate. You can double click on the tool and then go right in here, enter the angle that you like. For example, let's do uh, 77 degrees and then click preview and that will rotate 77 degrees. It also accepts negative values. So I can do negative 77 and you can see the effect there. There is also on these advanced uh, windows, you can click copy and it will actually re uh, execute what you've asked it to but on a copied version of the original. The scale tool is similar. You can uh, make sure that you do once again have your object selected and click scale and then you just click and drag to scale and you can go up, down or wide. Holding the shift key will uh, uh, lock the proportions for you. Okay, So you can uh, enlarge or reduce in that manner. So shift key once again keeps the proportions. You can double click once again and see you can do uniform, non-uniform. Uh, this is an important option here. If you do have a stroke, you want to have the um, option to scale the strokes and the effect. So that way your, you know, your 10, for example, a 10 pixel stroke will, will reduce uh, in correct proportion as you increase or decrease. And once again, you have the copy option here. Now some of the sub tools under the rotate tool is the reflect tool. Uh, once again, make sure you do have your object selected and take the reflect tool and now you can create a reflection. Most often than not, I actually use the uh, advanced options here by double clicking the tool and then I can uh, preview the effect of it here. Now it's just flipping this uh, box here so that's a little difficult to see. So what I'm going to do is just create an, a secondary shape. And using my Pathfinder, I'm going to punch a hole in it just so it's a little bit easier for us to view. I'll check preview here. And make sure you have your object selected with your selection tool. And then click the preview. And you see, using this vertical, it's uh, going to flip it side to side here. Using the horizontal, it's going to flip it up and down. Or you can also just choose a specific angle like 33 degrees. Check preview, and it's now going to reflect at a 33 degree angle. You can also click copy and it'll once again create the effect on a copied version of your shape. And then the sub tool underneath here is the shear tool. The shear tool is, uh, you know, we commonly know it as skew in some of the other software there. It allows you to skew it. You can also use the advanced mode there which also has the preview and you can play with those options as well. So real quick there, that was uh, those four tools. There are some more tools there. We'll leave that for another tutorial. Once again, those are some great way to distort any of the pre-existing shapes that you already have in Illustrator. Thanks again for watching. 5MinuteTutorials.com. The best compliment we can always get is a referral.